Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, NES, and SNES ROMs on your Retro Mini handheld console. So if you guys don't know what the Retro Mini is, I have actually done a review on it. Basically, what it does is it's a sort of like Game Boy Advance clone. It looks kind of like the Game Boy Pocket, like the Game Boy Color, but it actually plays Game Boy Advance games. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys all the ways you can play other ROMs. So right here, I've just got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. You will need a micro SD card if you wish to play these ROMs because that's the only way you can play them. You'll also need some way of connecting it to your PC. So right here, I've just got a micro SD to USB adapter. So all you want to do is go ahead and put your micro SD card in, connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you're over on your computer and your SD card is connected, all you want to do is find it just on the um, file explorer, right click it and then go to format. So keep in mind, when you format your SD card, it's going to delete everything that's on there. So if you want anything backed up, make sure you copy it to your PC. But all you want to do is just select the capacity, um, select the file system as FAT32 default, and then the allocation size, put that as default as well. Make sure quick format is selected and then just click start. Then just click OK. And your SD card is just going to start formatting. So this should only take a few seconds. As you can see, format complete, just click OK. And now you can click close. Right guys, so next I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and as you can see I've got a ROMs folder in here so this is all the ROMs you can use on your retro mini console. So I've got a Pokemon Crystal which is in the Game Boy Color format, I've got Pokemon Blue which is for the original Game Boy, I've got Super Bomberman which is for the um, SNES and then I've got Super Mario Bros 3 which is for the NES. So what you want to do now is just go to the link I have in the description of this video. It should be a mega link and all you want to do is download this program. So it's called Goomba and what this does is transfers Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs into Game Boy Advance ROMs. So all you want to do is just click download and it will begin downloading. It's literally 1.2 megabytes so it should only take a few seconds. So once that has finished downloading, go back to your downloads file, find the software. All you want to do, right click and extract here. It's just going to put it in this file folder for you and all you want to do is just double click to go into it. Now the program you want to launch up first is just GoombaFront.exe so just double click on that and it's going to come up with a GUI that looks exactly like this. So the first thing you need to do is select the emulator file so what you want to do click that it's going to bring you out to the file folder all you want to do is click Goomba underscore MB click that and then just click open Next, we need to select an output file. So this is where we want to choose which game we want to convert. So go to your downloads, go to your ROMs, and I'm probably gonna do um, Pokemon Blue first. So all I'm gonna type in is just Pokemon Blue, uh, but instead of .gb, I'm going to type in .gba. And then all you want to do is just click Save. Now you need to browse for your ROMs. So go to your downloads folder, double click it, it should come up the ROMs folder, just double click that, and then it will come up with Pokemon Blue. It's just click add, and that is pretty much it. Make sure this box here is ticked, and then click compile. So it's gonna come up saying it's compiled it to a Game Boy Advance file. So we can just click OK. Now what you want to do is select Pokemon Blue, and just click remove, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing with Pokemon Crystal. So just drag Pokemon Crystal across, just click add, uh, we want to rename it as well, so let's just change the output. Let's call it Pokemon Crystal. And then .gba at the end. And then just click save. Then what we're going to do is just click compile on that as well. And it's going to say compiled Pokemon Crystal .gba. So now we want to just click OK, close out of this, go back to our downloads folder, go into the ROMs folder, and we can see we have now got Game Boy Advance versions of both of these ROMs. So we can actually delete the ones that aren't. We can delete the Game Boy Color and the original Game Boy because obviously they don't work on the Retro Mini. So now we should have ROMs that look like this. Uh, we should have a NES ROM in the NES format, 
um, they work completely fine. We should have a um, you know a SNES ROM in the SFC format. This also works in the SF. SMC format so that's completely fine and then any other game it must be in the Game Boy Advance format so we've got obviously a Game Boy game and then a Game Boy Color game so all you want to do from here is just get all your ROMs and simply drag them across to your Retro Mini's SD card so that is it for the PC now we can go back onto the Retro Mini and we can test them out Right guys, so back off the PC, we can now take our micro SD card out and it actually plugs into your uh, the side of the uh, Retro Mini just here. So all you want to do, face it this way around and then just connect it in like that. So now all you want to do is just go ahead and power your Retro Mini on. And then what you want to do is just scroll over and you're looking for file manager. So just press A and go onto app, then scroll down to SD card and press A on that. So what this is going to do is just display all the ROMs we have got. So first of all, let's just try um, Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. Uh, this one's very simple, just press A twice and then press A on open and that will load up. Now these ones work perfectly fine with full working sound and everything like that. Um, I won't really do any gameplay on this one because this one's perfectly fine. Um, so I'm just going to press start and select at the same time and scroll down to quick game. Now let's try an SNES game. So we have got Super Bomberman in the SFC format. This also works with the SMC format. Let's just press A twice, then A on open. Uh, this one takes a little bit longer to load, but it has full working sound and everything like that. Um, they're a bit squished actually because of the screen size, but as you can see, it does work perfectly fine. I can do like normal mode and everything like that. And there's no really FPS issues on this sort of game. So let's just press start and select and let's quit back to the main menu. Next, we're going to try Pokemon Blue for the original Game Boy. But obviously, we changed it into the Game Boy Advance game. So all you want to do, press A twice, then press A to open it, and just give it a few seconds to load up. Now, because it's a Game Boy Color game, it has actually given us this sort of border around the edge. I'm not quite sure why it's done that, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, let me turn up the sound here, because this does have full working sound. I'll try not to put it too loud because the speaker on this thing is actually very loud, but you guys can hear it. There's no glitches or anything like that. And as you can see, Pokemon Blue version. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, the only problem with this is sometimes I don't actually think save files work. So keep that in mind. I probably wouldn't recommend playing the Pokemon games. Uh, maybe games that you aren't too bothered about saving, like Mario Bros and stuff like that. But anyway, let's just press start and select. Let's go to quick game and let's launch up the Pokemon Crystal, which is a Game Boy Color game. So let's just test this one out. It uh, has full working sound as well. And Game Boy Color games don't actually have borders on them, so that's kind of interesting. But let's just wait for this one to just load up. So as you can see, Pokemon Crystal version loads up perfectly fine as well. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you play a wider variety of ROMs on your Retro Mini. Uh, pretty cool. I did use the Pokemon games in this video, but I probably wouldn't recommend using them because save files um, are really glitchy and I don't even think they work properly. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.